Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for watching my video. Insha'Allah in this video, I will be sharing with you five uh, lessons which I uh, got from my adventures. Okay. And how you can actually apply them as uh, we are constantly trying to learn during these uh, times of uncertainties. Okay. Um, okay. So... Without much further ado, let me just dive in into uh, the first lesson. Okay. Uh, lesson number one. All right. It's always to be prepared. Okay. Now, uh, well, you can see a picture, okay, of my backpack. All right. Alhamdulillah, this backpack actually lasted me for about uh, close to um, close to 18 years. Alhamdulillah. Okay, this was my very, very first uh, backpack which I use uh, ever since being a full-time outdoor instructor. Okay, um, well, you can see a backpack with a, with a roll mat and, and an ice axe. This was shot at about uh, 1,000 meters okay, in India. Okay, as we were heading up to climb about 2,000 meters on uh, to reach uh, areas of uh, snow. Okay, this was during my um, mountaineering course, basic mountaineering course uh, by Nehru Institute of Mountaineering uh, up at the northern part of India. I think it was in Uttar Uttarakashi. Okay, so uh, well, back to the agenda is that um, what I would like to share is that it's very important for us to plan well and pack. Well, if you heard me, okay, I did say plan first before you pack. Okay, and you got to plan well. Okay, you got to plan well, uh, meaning like you need to know roughly uh, where you are going, what uh, you might be facing, then you will know what to pack. You can't be packing everything in your bag because it would be totally impossible. Okay, yeah. So uh, for me, I know that I'm going to be uh, up in the snowy or icy areas. So that's the main reason why you see an ice axe on my back. Okay, yeah. So and all my other gears are inside my backpack, okay? And for back to everyone here, okay, I assume that you are a student or, I don't know, somewhat in, in some form of uh, learning journey, okay? So as a student, your role is to study, okay? So make sure that you have all your uh, books and, and stationaries packed and ready, uh, for you to learn, uh, to continue your learning or to ensure that you can learn during these uh, times of a pandemic. Uh, why so? Because you never know when, when you can get to go to school or even when you can, when you are required to learn from home. Okay? Uh, nice picture, all right? This is a nice picture of, uh, of, of uh, my or I would say our canoes before we head down uh, River Spey that is somewhere in, that is in Scotland. Okay. Well, you can see our canoes were all packed with uh, or laden with a lot of equipment. Okay. Technically, if you are going for uh, just a few hours trip down a river, you would just need a canoe, a paddle, a personal floating device. Okay. And that will be it, or probably some snacks, okay? But this journey here is was a multi-day journey, okay? I think it was a, a three-day journey, all right? So we have to make sure that we have everything packed in the boat, including our food, okay? Our cooking gears, our tents, all right? So we have everything inside, okay? Even we, we even pack our boats with extra stuff. For example, a spare paddle. All right, you never know when your, your pedal may break. Okay, so if your pedal is, is broken, there's no way you can pedal unless you want to use your hand. All right, yeah, so uh, make sure that you have extra stuff in your uh, with you. Okay, right, yeah, so for example, if you are not, if you're not someone who, if you are someone who learn uh, without, I would say, a notebook or a full skate pad, then it's time to have these things stand by you because you never know. Okay, um, all right, and again, when during these times of, of uncertainty, uh, always, always be prepared, all right? 
So this uh, picture was shot up in the Kingong that is somewhere in Scotland. Okay, it was supposed to be a, a, a spring climb. Okay, meaning somewhere in March or April. That means you're supposed to see uh, greens and colors uh, of uh, flowers around. All right. But the weather took a turn and everything just, uh, you know, snow and frost and freeze. Okay, so um, you never know. Things may change. So if let's say your, your school have uh, told you that you have to study in, at home, uh, from this date to this date, always tell yourself that it may still change. Okay, meaning the, it can get longer or shorter. You never know. So always be prepared. So when your when your mind is prepared, then you can easily plan your things properly, and you can pack your things properly, and you won't have any un uh, added stress. All right, okay. So that's lesson number one. Always be prepared. Lesson number two, that there are many ways to learn. Well, you see a picture of this was me. Okay. I was climbing a boulder, all right, and I decided to take this route up, okay, and that's, that was me standing on a small ledge trying to figure out the next move, okay. Uh, I could also have uh, tried to climb on this side of the rock, okay, or probably I could even try to climb up this crack, okay. So there are many ways of doing things, and that goes the same with learning, all right. There are many ways to learn. You can read, you can recite. Recite means you just read out loud. Uh, so when you when you read out loud, your ears can also hear what you say, what, what, what you uh, say. Uh, you can memorize, okay, practice, or even rewriting whatever that is on the book, okay. And but observing things, there are many ways of learning things, okay, of learning. Sorry, uh, and for each of these method, you will need to do things differently, okay. Yeah. So for reading, writing, and memorizing, of course, you need to, you need to sit down and uh, recite, all right? Uh, and probably for some of you, you may need a quiet place to do uh, reading and reciting, all right? Um, sometimes you may want to do practicing. When you, need, when you want to practice, you, you will definitely need uh, additional stuff like a pen and paper to write, okay? Uh, so for my case, uh, this example here, our sailing, okay, this just for me to illustrate to you that you can still learn, uh, that you can still learn while practicing or what we call learning by doing, okay. Uh, so we were trying to sail this boat, uh, obviously I need to practice, uh, you know, uh, driving the boat, feeling the wind into the sail, okay. Yeah, so if I, uh, you know, uh, fill my sail with too much wind, then probably my boat may just uh, flip and overturn, okay? Uh, or if I had actually uh, not filled my sail with uh, enough wind, then my boat cannot even move, all right? So sometimes in learning, it's not only about reading and, uh, you know, reading and memorizing, you still must practice, okay? As the saying goes, practice, uh, practice makes perfect, all right? Uh, sometimes, you can also learn by observing, okay? So this example of us uh, observing uh, and try to forecast how the weather was like the last night, okay? So as you can see, this ice was look pretty horizontal, okay? Instead of, you know, uh, vertically down, okay? This would tell us that the night before it was super strong wind where the snow were almost horizontal. That means it's very strong, okay? So there are many ways of learning, okay? And for each of this method, you need to do it differently. For observing, for example, you cannot observe things if you just skim through things. You have to sit down and observe and look properly from all angles, all right? Get close to the thing, then you can learn, okay? Uh, similar for online learning, all right? Uh, so online learning, you, it's not only about having a computer in front of you, you will need to set up uh, your, your paper beside you, making sure that your laptops have got uh, power, if not, you need to fix your, your power cords, okay? So, uh, so you need to adapt to different ways of learning. 
including learning online. Okay? Now, lesson number three. Now, whatever that you're going to go through will be temporary. Okay, inshallah. Alright? This is a picture of a group of men. I think there were about 50 or 60 out of, uh, out of us in this small uh, classroom. We were up at about 3,500 meters at night after dinner. It was snowing and cold, but we still we were still learning. All right, uh, we were actually learning to uh, listen to the lecturer sharing with us more about the mountain, about about mountain climbing. Okay, so even though you are tired from learning from looking at the computer, looking at the screen, uh, tell yourself that don't worry, inshallah, these are all temporary. Okay, uh, sometimes yeah, even or during online learning, you may not be able to ask your teacher question easily. Or worse still, your network may get cut off. Then you will not be able to join the lesson. Okay? Uh, all that will make you dis uh, uncomfortable. Uh, you know, uh, then it may affect uh, the way you learn. But inshallah, uh, tell yourself that this, all these are temporary. Okay? Uh, another picture of us learning. On the side of a mountain, on a, on a mountain slope. Okay? Some part were, fro were, were frozen and cold. Okay? Uh, so our, our bums are cold and slipping down and we got the the hot sun shining down on us. Okay, so it was a pretty mixed, mixed uh, situation. Okay, but learning got to continue. Okay, but as long as you focus on yourself that you or you tell yourself that you need to learn, then inshallah, you will get there. Okay, next one. The fourth lesson is to stay rooted. Now, during these times of pandemic, you are learning mostly maybe away from the uh, from a teacher or even learning on the screen a lot. Uh, always, always take the chance to get away from the screen as best as you can. Okay, whenever, whenever there's a break time, walk around the house, uh, your house corridor, if you, if you have a garden, go out there uh, on the weekends or when there's less crowd at the public places. Uh, you may ask your parents, you know, to go together, to go to the beach or to the park, to get some fresh air, okay? Because ultimately, we are humans. We live in a real world, okay? And we need to uh, stay uh, as a human, okay? Yeah, so by being close to nature, by being close to the outdoors, you can, uh, inshallah, uh, be able to manage yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, and not only that, you can also even... If you cannot go anywhere, then probably you can try to grow a plant. Okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think nowadays it's quite easy to get yourself some soil. Uh, of course, get, get your parents to get it for you. Don't go down to the shop. Okay? Uh, and then you can get the seeds from your mom's vegetable and try to grow a plant. Okay? Actually, even by doing this, you're not only distressing yourself, but also, uh, you know, learning a bit about science through doing uh, planting. Yep. Right, and lesson number five is to appreciate the little things in life, okay? At times, you may question, oh, if only I have that device, or oh, only if I got a bigger screen, if only I got a better network, if only my house is quiet, then I'm feeling better. Uh, may not be okay. Uh, so whatever it is, whatever the situation you are in, don't forget to uh, say thanks to Allah, okay? Say your Alhamdulillah, and inshallah. Allah will take care of you and give you more. Okay? So this is a picture of a group of uh, kids. It's a family of, uh, I would say, a shepherd. Okay? Uh, they are happily around. They, you know, taking care of their animals. I think they are happy and thankful for what they have, for whatever they have. Okay? Obviously, they, don't, they do not have network, uh, but they can still love, uh, you know, live and learn and be happy. Okay? Inshallah. Okay, Alhamdulillah, thank you so much for uh, listening to my video. Hope it's beneficial and uh, inshallah, I will uh, find the opportunity to share more uh, about my adventures, uh, those in the past and the present, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.